With this week's Brain Builder, we're going to do something new. I got another book by the same people who make the other Brain Builders. Um, it's called Math Finder, The Haunted Amusement Park. It's by Mindware, which is where I got these books from. And it's just a little bit different, so I thought it might be um, fun to do some a different kind of challenge. So in this assignment, I have scanned the instruction page from the book in case you want to read more in detail. I'm going to complete this example and leave that posted in case you want that for reference. And then you're going to complete page two, the second puzzle of the book. Besides, page one is way too easy for you. Okay, so in the instructions, it says, read the text to learn where you are in the adventure and to see hints about how to solve the puzzle. So this whole book kind of follows a storyline of an adventure. It's just kind of silly. And these little stories give you, sometimes give you hints on how to solve it. So go ahead and read that part. Ghost. When your friends tell you there's a ghost living in the funhouse mirrors, you don't believe them. Even so, you have to check it out for yourself. Follow the steps to the funhouse. So you have to work your way through this maze to get to the funhouse, which is the exit. Then the funhouse is on the next page. So what you do is start with the number that the entrance arrow points to, and then write that number in the first blank. So the entrance arrow is pointing to the one. So in the first blank, I'm going to write a one. And now what I have to do is find an adjacent number to go in the second blank to make an equation that's true. So one times something equals something. And I'm going to look at the adjacent numbers. The number is right next to the one. Try to fill that in. One times three is three, and I don't see another three. So that doesn't work. One times six, nope, doesn't work. One times two is two. That works, I can go in a line. Um, generally in this book, you only go horizontally and vertically, but not diagonally. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in my next blank. One times two equals two. And then I'm gonna draw a line connecting those. And I know you're on the computer, so what you can do to draw a line is to use the line feature here. And you start at the two. And it gave me a line, and then I can drag it over. There you go. So now I've got a line connecting those dots. One plus one times two equals two. Now I'm going to start at the number that I just finished at, two, and that goes in the blank on my second equation. Two times something equals something. And you can see in this very first example, this is why I told you it was easy, it kind of shows you the path with these roped areas. So two times three equals six. So I'm going to write the equation first, 2 times 3 equals 6. And I'm trying to get up to this exit arrow. And now I'm going to connect the dots to there. 2 times 3 equals 6. OK, now let's see. My next equation is going to involve division. So I'm going to start at the 6. You always start where you left off. So I'm going to start at 6, 6 divided by something. And you can see even if these ropes weren't here, you can't do 6 divided by 8. That's not, there's no fractions in this. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and that will take me that way. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. And then I can continue to connect the dots. And draw another line. You don't have to draw the lines if they if you find that part frustrating. You could just fill in the equations and still get the answer. But I think it's kind of nice to connect the dots and see your path. Helps um, when the well, helps when they get a little bit harder. Okay, and then I'm going to start where I left off. So two. Now I have to do a multiplication equation. So let's say these lines weren't here. I'd have to think. Okay, two times three is six. Well, that's not going to work. Two times eight is sixteen. No. Nope. Two times five is ten. Okay, that must be the path. Two times five equals 10. And then I can connect the dots from the 2 to the 10. Okay, and then I'm going to start where I left off. And then the last equation is division. So I'm going to be at the 10 and I have to divide by something. Look, it's surrounded by all odd numbers except for one even number. So that's going to be the one I need. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And then that's my last line and it takes me out the exit. So this is what a completed um, brain builder looks like in this book and then for your assignment you're going to solve page two that looks like this and you can see it kind of gives you the lines but it doesn't give you all the answers like it did on the first one okay have fun